What's up, everybody? <gasps> it's your boy Uchi and the homie Kai, and we are back again, once again. How y'all doing today? What's going on, everyone? It's your boy Uchi, homie Kai, like we just said, and we are here for episode 11. Let's get it. 11. We're in the double digits of the Full Power Podcast, and this week's episode is going to be a fun one, like always. Um, but it is something that I think we might have kind of started to dabble with this conversation, with this topic a little bit in the in, in previous episodes. But just I don't those, think so. those were little dabbles. I mean, we, we, we definitely mentioned DBZ Kakarot, but um, that's not exactly what we're going to be talking about. But we will be talking about video games of Dragon Ball, memories, stories, whatever we got cooked up for you guys. Um, and it's going to come right after these messages. Do you like anime? Do you like Japanese-inspired things? Do you like clothes? I'm sure you like to stay warm. Well, I got this stuff for you. Introducing Imori.com, a website that introduces anime and Japanese-inspired styled clothing made in-house. And you can use the code UCHI15 to save yourself 15% off of all these cool, dope hats, beanies, hoodies, t-shirts, sweatpants, and way more where that came from. That's Uchi15 at checkout to save yourself 15% off your entire order at imori.com. Boom and welcome back. Okay, so hope you enjoyed those messages because we, we, we got sponsors. So I got to gotta shout out the sponsors it's when real. we have the opportunity to do so. And you know, hungry mouths don't get fed unless you're saying you're hungry. And we stay eating out here. So, yeah. they're taking care of the channel. So, we got to make sure we plug those out there for you guys. And definitely, if you haven't already, please go ahead and like this video. Because we, we the like the likes actually help. I watched a whole thing on like how important that stuff is. Yeah, dude. You the, know, the likes I've been likes doing some matter. research. I mean, I'm trying to, I'm trying to re-spruce up this channel a lot more. But, enough about the uh, call to actions. But, we're here to talk about some video games. So with Dragon Ball Z Kakarot um, on the horizon, literally at the time of this recording, I mean, by the time you guys are listening and hearing this, the game is already out. That's yeah. And yeah, right. and at, and at the time that we're recording this, it's people people already have it though. Of course, I mean, people. That's always going to be the case. People are always going to get shit early, but like right at, right now, technically release date type stuff. Yeah, it's not out yet. When at the time of this recording, yes. Yeah. So so with conjunction to the official release of Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. You guys are listening to the Full Power Podcast or watching whatever uh, format you guys are enjoying this at. Um, they're but, watching. They're listening as they play Kakarot. Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, those are what real fans will do. Facts. <laughs> so, so unfortunately for me, I won't even get the game until oh, wow. like my hands won't. I won't like have my hands on so, it. Not nah, Sunday. 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 Well, I have. So my pre-order is through Best Buy because mm. I got the collector's edition. Boy, if you don't, mm, I had to. I had to because I want to unbox it and do a, a review for that, John. I understand that part. Of but course. Best Buy. That's Dude, what you got me. I, I know, right? That's, that's, why, <laughs> that's why I got myself. Dude, I haven't, yo, I haven't bought uh, thing. I haven't bought like games from Best Buy. I don't go to Best Buy unless it's Black Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Should be. Yo, that's facts. I, I literally, I, I do the same thing. I don't, I don't go to Best Buy for, for, for most things anyway. Yeah. So like. Too so, much. So then, um, so yeah, so I was online and I was looking around trying to see like who got the collector's edition <laughs> and I was like, well, Amazon don't have it. Walmart don't have it. eBay is trying to upcharge as always. Um, and uh, what was left? There was someone, there was someone else that I checked. I already said Amazon. Oh, and then of course Bandai's site. Mm. Who they were only at the time were off offering does, the regular edition. Does GameStop hold the collector's edition? Oh, GameStop didn't have it. That was another one too. Yeah, I believe that. Yeah, they and if they did, they might have had maybe a X few. amount, and yeah. it's already gone. Yeah, that's how it goes. Yeah. So I wasn't trying to like inconvenience myself and like try to like travel the regions of just looking for who has it because honestly it was it was almost like i don't want to say it was last minute decision but it was it was almost it was late enough to be a problem it, yeah for. it was and it also was almost on some impulse shit because Ooh. like it was like the build-up with me and this game i will admit like i even i, I said this in my instagram live recently that i 
wasn't even planning on getting the collector's edition, let alone being as hype as I am now for the game at the start. Because mm-hmm. at the start, I was like, when they first showed it, showed it off, I was like, oh, okay, it's a story mode game. You know, we haven't had those in a while. Like, you know, the ones that come to mind is like Boost Fury and freaking Legacy of Goku on the ag- Advance. We yep. Advance boys out here. Yeah. All right. Dude, so Boost Fury. See, that's why I want to talk about these. Oh my I, I got God. stories. I'm sure you that's got some stories. Oh, geez. Of course, naturally. Like, that is exactly why we, this, this, this week's theme is all about the video games. Right. So, but yeah, like, I haven't, I haven't had that connection, you know, with, with a story mode game like that in such a long time. And I don't think they've had story mode games like that since then. I mean, like, one can argue you got Xenoverse, but it's like, that's not really. That's not a story Exactly, game. you know. That it's not so, and then of course we got plenty of different fighting games from the Budokai to the Tenkaichi's to the Raging Blast to Yamama's Blast, like you know all all these games, and then we got fighters. Now we got fighters. So take it as what you will. Haven't had these, haven't had a game like this for Dragon Ball in such a long time. So it's kind of refreshing, and it and it does feel good, even though like I'm sure a hundred percent of the fan base that's getting this and is playing it knows. All the events of Dragon Ball Z at this point. I was, I was trying to remember the name. I remember the name now. To me, when I looked at like you know like preview gameplays or whatever, just like scrolling through YouTube, people that got the game early for Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, uh-huh. that to me looks like a revamped Dragon Ball Z Infinite World. I don't know if you remember <gasps> Infinite that World. Game. I forgot about that one. Yeah, yeah. That's what this looks like it's gonna be, or it's gonna try to aspire to be better than that, but similar idea. That's okay. What it is. So that's what I picked up. So fun fact on Infinite World, I believe Brother Uch has it. But I never played it. You never played it at all? It was alright. So that was a story mode game? Yes. Okay. I thought it was I thought it was them trying to make like a, they, they were trying were, to turn it in more, into more like an RPG story mode game. Like oh, a, see, cause when at um so for, I don't know what the hell I was thinking of, but I remember them making a like they were they so they you know how they had like Budokai Tenkaichi tag on the PSP? Yes. Okay. Tag team. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So and that was another game that Brother Uch had that I did not, right? So for some reason, there was certain, there was certain games that he owned that I did not. And I was Shin like, Budokai, Shin Budokai 2. <clears throat> See, for some reason, when I saw Infinite World, in my memory, I remember it as, oh, this is them trying to low-key make another Budokai, but I was wrong. No. No, yeah. no, 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 no. That's what I thought. I thought they were just yeah. kind of be under the radar with that. You know what game was indie as hell? In, in my books, it was indie as hell, but it was fun. It was weird fun because it was glitchy as hell, too. Sagas. <gasps> See, okay, I regret not even having Brother Uch on this show right now. <laughs> if he was here, if he was here, we might have to have a part two. I don't know. But we might, we might. Should we just save it? No, 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 no. Wait no. for it. D- dude, no, honestly, Sagas was a I game. Spent some time in Sagas. Dude, did you spend some time on Sagas? Yeah. Let me yeah. tell you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. That game was atrociously amazing. That's the best way to put it. That's a pretty good way to put it. It was so fucking bad, but it was at the same time like it was oh, somehow good. The first, it was the first of its kind back in that That's time. Very true, it was right. We didn't have a game where you. It was open world, not yeah. you know, like yeah. quote unquote yeah, open yeah, yeah. world, like, and you go, you start, you have a starting point. And then you're going around like defeating enemies and then you eventually get to like a boss character and like you have like, you know, it's it's almost it almost feels like a beat em up. You got special moves and everything. But dude, was it glitchy? Just like you said. Glitchy as hell. That John was wild. Yep. I spent hours, me and Brother Uj, man, we both played and he fucking loved that game. And to this day. He is still waiting for Sagas 2. No way. I swear to you, dude. He Damn. is still... Look, this is the same kid that said, I'm not watching nothing else until New Dragon Ball comes out. Uh. He kept watching the fucking Orange Bricks on repeat whenever he... 1 through 9. That's a lot of discs, by the way. Oh, yeah. That's like 6 per set. That's 54 fucking discs, guys. That's crazy. That's third grade math. Multiply. How you doing? Full power. Out of control. <laughs> Okay, but like OD, like, that's, that's crazy. Like he literally, I say this like all the time. He literally rewatched that John, and then I finally gave him the news: Super's coming back, or Dragon Ball's coming back, and Dragon Ball Super. His face lit up. He goes, "It's about 
damn time, <laughs> right? With Sagas, it's no different. Like, we played the shit out of that game, and what was so, like, conflicting for him, and even me too, I will admit, it was very conflicting because it ends with Cell, right? It, the game ends with Cell, and there's no Boo. At this point in time, we already had seen Majin Buu, saw Kid Buu, saw all that shit, so we were expecting, like, oh, they're gonna have all three of those big sections, right? You're gonna have Frieza, you're gonna have Cell, and you have Boo. So you would have thought. Hit us with the actually. They definitely hit us with that. Actually, this is where the game ends. And that's that's all there was to it. I feel like Kakarot, I'm not going to say it's the successor to Sagas. It could be, depending on how you look at it. Because if Sagas was no, their first attempt, I wouldn't attempt, say that. I wouldn't, I, I that's what I'm saying. Them. I am not I'm, I'm, oh, Trust me, I'm not trying to compare them. Kakarot. Not, not not like comparing like which is better, but compare them like on the same like same uh same game idea concept. Like yeah, all I'm all I'm trying to say is that sagas to me, I looked at that game as like their first attempt at making a more open world e kind of Dragon Ball game where yeah. you're going from point A to point B and in the middle you're fulfilling tasks and quests and defeating enemies yeah and then it ends with a with a with a with a final boss <clears throat> kakarot is like that actual like okay this is it this is what we were trying to do all those years ago <laughs> and now <laughs> it's the real thing that's my that that's my that's my take on that um but yeah dude sagas they had sagas on gamecube dude yeah i played the ps2 version that was, yeah same mm. Yeah, it was it was one of those games. Was it on Xbox as well? I believe so. Yeah. 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 Oh, it was on GameCube. What? The? <laughs> like, <laughs> Tank uh No, 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 not Tank Heiji. But Budokai's were on GameCube too. I only, really. I played them on on PlayStation though. Yeah. So there was certain, like, like so like there were certain games like I categorized my games by system very okay. much like back in that time when it was PS2, Xbox, GameCube. Unless you were Smash. I was not playing no fighters on GameCube. I was playing obviously all the Nintendo exclusives on yeah, GameCube. Yeah, yeah. Same. And like Xbox had their Real exclusives quick. with Halo. Real quick, shout out, shout out GameCube plug, Sonic Adventure Battle 2. Uh, one of the best games. <laughs> Rolling around at the speed of sand. <laughs> I got places to go, I gotta follow my freaking rainbow. But yes, that game is fire. Never beat it, by the way, because I was trash back in the day, and I haven't revisited it since. Dude, that story hit me different. Chaos Control! <laughs> Dude, see, we're full power, though. We're mainly Dragon Ball, but we could... We, well, we know. We, we, we know. Oh, we've we recognize. Around. We've been around. Yes. Um, and yeah, and then, so yeah, so like, I would keep like a lot of my fighting games, or all of them, actually, when I could on PlayStation 2. Yep. And when and then and any time a Dragon Ball game came out, I was not, that shit was not that touching was GameCube. It was not touching Xbox. That shit was only gonna be on Sony PlayStation Two, free. That that's just how that goes. No questions, no answers. That's just how it is. So by the time like we got like around to the PS3 and the 360 and the and the Wii, then the Wii was godlike. But but when we got talking about with the Wii when they had like Budokai Tenkaichi three on the Wii. Listen, that looked so gimmicky. I didn't even. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even go for it, man. I was nah, like, no I'm not way. doing this. I'm not doing. I had this. the option to play. I didn't buy it, but I had the option to play all Wii with like with the like trying with to the, with the nunchuck Wii mode. Nah. No. Nope. No. I like. Okay. <laughs> it even, was not there. Even even during that time, as a fan. And as someone that was young but still played a lot of video games and I understood how like fighting games already worked. When I saw that they were putting 10 kg 2 on the Wii and they were gonna implement like the you know the the, the yeah. motion controls yeah. to you know do energy beams and whatnot. Man, even at that age, however old I was, I was super young, but like even at that age, man, that I was not getting fooled. I was like, they're not fucking selling me on this shit. I know this shit's not gonna work right. It's not gonna work right. And actually, <laughs> hey, matter of fact, now, now that you say that, I had an opportunity too. And it was, oh, you did? one of my friends from when uh, I used to go visit my dad in PA, when he used to live in the Poconos, 
I had a, I had like, it was like one of his, one of his friends that he, that they had a kid and like they brought him over mm -hmm. and like he brought his, he brought his, his, uh, I had a Wii already. So he had brought Tank IH2 and I, that was like my chance to play it. And I was like, uh, like I, I was like, I already know this is not going to work. I just had this gut feeling because I'm like, the tech is not there yet. The technology is not there yet. Like I just had that intuition yeah. and I was right. Nailed it. I remember, I remember the iToy. I told it was fire. I told it was fire. There was some, there was some like uh, futuristic, like surfer type game that came with that shit. I forgot what it was called, but I played that. I played that a lot. Uh -huh. That was fun. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I know what you're talking about, yeah. but you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I didn't even have an iToy. I played iToy at my cousin's house, <laughs> and that, and that was all we did. I was like, I'm not trying to play anything else. Like, get this. Get this fucking uh, spy hunter out of the way. Mm -hmm. Get all these Johns out there. I I'm trying to play iToy. But yeah, like, like even back then, like, there was no, like, the, the idea of, like, when we were transitioning in the video game world, like, with, with the, t the tech and the specs and the peripherals, eventually, Mo we was the first one to, well, no, I wouldn't say we was the first one to introduce the motion controls, because obviously we had the iToy, we we're talking about it, right? But... When it came to Dragon Ball games, like, that's like everyone is like first imagination. Like, oh, what if they one day we have a game where we can like do this with our hands? Like, that was everyone's dream. Like, we wanna shoot a Kamehameha. Like, you know, cause, you know, we wanna get that feeling. Me, I took it to the next level. I'm like, nah, I don't wanna just do that. I wanna be in something yes. where I gotta scream, I gotta freaking literally power up. Like, I'm on the brink of shitting myself. That's the kind of Dragon Ball game I'm still waiting for i have a dragon ball game i'm still waiting for is even level beyond that is i'm talking about that john put that shit on just not oh no nah. i mean that just so i'm right. looking for that full dive you want technology. that you want that sao shit i can't trust it because i'm not i'm not about to get hit with that anime plot and being like if you die in this game you die in real life yeah i'm cool with it nah, look you can be cool with it i'm not there's lots of things. We're trying to hit 100K on the channel. 50K first. That would be nice. But uh, trying to, you know, get to, going up. get to one mil. You're going up. <laughs> I got things to do first before I, I commit and give my life away to, to Dragon Ball Online Sword Art Edition. But no Sword Art Edition unless it's Trunks. Bro, that, that really the only, only VR MMO anime you've seen is Sword Art? No. He slumped. No. Freaking, um... There's like five or six of them out there. Yeah. Uh, what was the other one? Now, Rezo doesn't count. You got Sword Art. Rezo doesn't count, though. That's an isekai, but... You got Sword Art. Uh-huh. You got Log Horizon. Log Horizon, I started, never finished it. It's good. It is. It's good. It is. You got Overlord. That's a... That's a game one? Yes. Oh, I didn't know that. It's a... Bro, the openings and endings are fire. Mm, okay. Story, story's pretty good, but they gotta... I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get into that. Just go, go check it out for yourselves. Moving on past that. They got Excel World. I've heard of that. I really enjoyed that one. There's like certain, I don't, I mean, I just don't like gimmicks in anime. Like gimmick characters, gimmick moments. Like you can have filler stuff, but you can't have like a whole <laughs> character that walks around and is filler and is a joke. Like I just. Yo, I bro, what, what's uh, Saitama? What is Saitama? Yes, I'm, well, I'm like, that's exactly, <laughs> that's a perfect example. We're talking about Saitama. You want to talk about the pig in Seven Deadly Sins? You want to talk about. Yeah, like just like characters like that, then you know they're never ever gonna get put down. So it's just like <laughs> that's why I'm just like, man, like What was the fifth one? You said there was five. Uh one, two, three, four. There is a fifth one. What is is it um let me see if I know this. There is a fifth one. Uh I'm thinking Well there's more. Is than it five. hack? Hack? Dot hack sign? All that yes, one? Yes. Yeah. That's one. See? That's one. See, I'm around, but I've never seen them. There's still another one though. I can't think of it. But moving on, there are plenty of them. They're they're pretty good. Yeah, dude, I don't stuff. know, man. Like that concept is dope, but if that ever becomes a reality, I'm with it. I'm with it. Bro, I've know. been I've been an MMO player. I've been in the MMO life. Go ahead, dive me in that. I dare you. Watch what happens. You <laughs> like, know what? Come across me on the field. On the topic of Dragon Ball Online, there is such a thing. I tried and it was so weird. They wouldn't even let Americans play. Like So you so you you I tried, you tried. to get in mm. that multiple times for a couple years, like on and off, like try to dive in that. And it was such a pain in the ass process to even download, Damn. get the server up. It was just See, nowadays we're in 2020 now, right? And I and I nowadays it is a lot easier to access foreign games and such. 
Imagine trying to do that back then. Yeah, I know. This now this game, I was following it. I was I couldn't I didn't even want to attempt to try and play that shit. Cause I was like, I already know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna get frustrated. I'm gonna fucking break my computer somehow. <laughs> I'm not I'm not doing it. And this is no. dude, this is during the XP days. Oh stop. The Vista days. Even I'm before the Vista that. day. Oh my god. Like definitely Windows XP. Alright. I'm not I'm I was like, there's no way I'm playing this. The game. flag. <laughs> <laughs> like, dude, Dragon Ball MMO. Or yeah, it was Dragon Ball Online. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dragon Ball Online. Was, That's what it was. it was called. Dude, that was the first MMO Dragon Ball game. You had the classes, the Mechians, the humans, the Saiyans, the fucking Boo people. The Boo people. <laughs> yeah, I think I think so, right? That's that's the, I You know, I think I, I think it was I think it was honestly just between Saiyans, Nam Namix and either Frieza's race or Boo's race. That's how it started. Mm. There was only like and three like different classes. Yeah, and dude, I, I tried. They wouldn't let me. They wouldn't let me. And so. now, and now it shut down. I think. I believe it. I think now, now that shit doesn't even exist anymore. Like they, they just the the servers are done, which sucks because I like for years, man. I was following this That's game. That's all I'm waiting for. I was like, yo, like if they hey. make a successful Dragon Ball MMO, it's it's over. Dude, the closest thing y'all got is Xenoverse. That's not an MMO at all. But like I said, it's the closest thing you got right now. It has a very good combat system, but like it's not an MMO. It has MMO elements. In yes. It, yeah, yeah. Yes. You it know. has MMO elements. Xenoverse is mm -hmm. the is the step towards what they need they to did make for, <laughs> for Dragon Ball Online. It's a step towards Listen, what they need to yo, make. Yo, all right, look, look, look. I'll be real with you right now. If they made if they made a Dragon Ball MMO that was like. That was like the, in this like their own whatever like it has like the the good combat like fighting but it has all the MMO shit where it was on the level the level not playing like the level of League and like fucking Dota those are not MMOs they're not MMOs they're MOBAs okay I I stand corrected I'm just saying on the level of those games uh. right that. I like that shit. You could you could just be a, a Dragon Ball player at that point. Like motherfuckers are streaming that shit on Twitch. Like you got the main page category, you got Dragon Ball on that John. I'm personally not crazy about MOBAs. I think MOBAs are a joke. I don't know. I don't even like MOBAs. I bring up those games because you see how big they are? Mm -hmm. You see how much money people are making off them, yeah, John? Absolutely. Even just like not even just for the competitions, but like the yeah, streamers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro. Bro, they got that for MMOs too. Not as many, not as often. MOBAs are more popular, but that's because people don't, you know, this generation don't got any patience. They don't got any nah, attention none. span. They don't got nothing. Let me tell you, I was talking to a bunch of my MMO peeps, real tangent, real quick. It, MMOs are dying. Like, really? They're completely dying. Like, all of them are dying simultaneously. And you know why? Because companies would rather come out with shit that they can keep. Like, MMOs are a big money factor. Probably one of the biggest gaming money factors in history, to be completely honest. Like being an MMO person for like almost a decade, I can say that I've been there, I've been around, yeah. and they're dying for mobile games. Damn if oh, because people are so, so true, attention man. lost that they would rather play a game like League or a game like Smite or Dota where it's like pick up a character, have some fun for a couple minutes, put it down. That's something you can do that on console if you want to do that. You know what I mean? Like MMOs are something where you're supposed to level, progress, enjoy yourself, and you come back the next day and you have everything that you worked on. Facts. Those kinds of games are dying because people don't want to put the work in. They want to pick it up, play, and put it down. And some people that don't have time, I understand that. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about the people that literally just can't play a game because they're like, after like two hours, they're like, they go from, oh, this game is lit to, oh, this game sucks. Ha, <laughs> yo, speak the truth, damn it. Oh, dude, that's just, that is hundred percent real. And that's real. Life. So I don't think we're ever gonna get that Dragon Ball MMO game, not the way we want to, mm. because the whole MMO industry is dying. And like, even in there, where you have like a Trinity system, like a DPS, a healer, a tank, whatever. Yeah. Everybody want to go charge and be the protagonist. Everybody want to go full DPS. It's finding tanks, finding healers. Yeah, good luck with that shit. You better be a hero, solo that shit on your own. <sighs> So like Damn the MMO, guy. MMOs are dying. The mentalities of different roles are dying, and supporting each other and teamwork, all that's dying. They want they want that story mode. They want to be in it. They want to be gone. They want to put it down, turn it off. So it's the mobile life is the new life. It, the mobile life. Get the <laughs> dude, but dude, the mobile life. Like, 
honestly though like this is a gr great transition because dude look how many dragon ball mobile games they got trash yo you're how can you, a lot of people with that comment i don't care i don't care because like as a game itself you can enjoy it you can get fulfillment out of like mobile games and stuff like that but realistically speaking when you play a game you're not flipping through cards you're not clicking some shit on your phone you're not tapping some shit like you're not playing a game you're just kind of like going through it's like it's like you're going through like it's like you're going through the game version of a social media really so not so to elaborate are you saying that towards legends and dokkan battle specifically i tried to look into the i'm just talking about like things in general those are just like the first things that like, okay. popped in my head or whatever okay. i'm not like discriminating any one mobile game over all the rest or anything okay. i don't have an opinion i haven't like i've looked into them but i haven't played them all but i've looked into them into them enough to get a general bias and that it can, it can completely be altered if i see some crazy shit but like when i see something like you know, a bunch of like images are like you, like your your character, like clashing with another character. You're not even doing anything. You're just watching it happen. Like you might as well just watch Dragon Ball instead. <laughs> like what? That's not I mean, call it a game when it's only it. semi immersive. Okay, I mean that's one way to look at it for sure. Like I, I'm a I'm a combat freak. Like I'm I'm a I got Saiyan blood through these veins. I like, like I, I like want getting things in there. like fighters and things like you know Xenoverse. Regardless of how many people don't like it, I need something with real combat and intellect, like moves, like. So things like mobile games don't do it for me ever, and they never will. See, and that's cool. If you like mobile games, that's cool. That's great. I'm not hating on you. I'm just saying my perspective on like the kinds of games that I enjoy and uh -huh. the reasons that I enjoy them. So to to counteract, just to level things out, mm. right? I play Legends, yeah. right? And I used to Did play Dokkan. Did you Dokan. get Super Saiyan 4 Goku? Real quick trigger. All right, that's the answer is no. Continue moving on. <laughs> why the fuck did you have to do that right now, son? Like, why did... <sighs> trying to have a show here. And this guy <laughs> is literally trying to throw fucking shit at my shit. I can't believe this. Yeah, I wanted to know. Yeah, he wanted to know. so many tweets so much i see so much about that about you needing to get a super safe forward but like but like please explain to me real quick what's that process of getting a new character look man well i will be more than happy to explain go for it it is pure random there's nothing wrong luck. with that but i'm saying how do you do it oh okay so so with a game like legends because this, this is what i could speak on because i i've played it i do play it again yeah. now right you don't um, have to show me off air because like that, the, all those mobile games are not doing it for me. Not, there's not so a single game, mobile game that I've ever like. They're all different. Like they, they like I feel like they can make any kind of mobile game that caters to certain players. That like so you got your Candy Crush people, you got the color yeah, matching, yeah. the um the Tetris guys, you got like the the card ones matching of the colors and a lot of them share a lot of the same elements mm. like especially with like this color is super effective against this color blah 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 combinations and all that shit right but with legends mm, legends is more about you and this is what i under from my understanding from my experience playing the game you want to get your units right at the highest star rating and obviously sparking characters are the better characters. You want to have your equipment at the highest rank, Z rank, right? Now, knowing all that, you go into playing the game. And yes, you do get your sparkings here and there. And by luck, that's kind of what you work with. Okay. But the problem is that obviously the game is all built around getting like multi summons and just getting new characters because the way it works is let's say you get a dupe the duplicate character will just layer onto the that character because like in your collection you basically just filling up whoever you whoever you get yeah so like duplicate characters will overlap each other and basically like whatever the starting one that you got was if you get a duplicate that shit will overlap and add the experience or whatever to build that star rating so if you get enough of the same guy that boosts the stars up well we're but at how do you unlock those like those cards so the way you unlock them is by playing the missions playing the story mode you can get chrono crystals that way 
Um, and nor yeah, so if you if you if you do a story, every every mission you complete is like ten crystals. So like, like, like well, hold on, there's more. Continue. So for to get the summons, like to 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 go on a banner, right? They call it a banner. Um, each banner is like a different theme. Like they got the heroes theme, they got the Goku banner, they got the GT fucking banner, right? So they have all these banners, right? And you, you like in and they even had like villains banners and like they got like certain themes like that they'll introduce like here and on and throughout like the lifespan of the game, right? And now I believe Legends is on its two year coming this summer right something like that two-year anniversary because i started playing the game like right as it was new but i didn't play it play it but then once broly came that's when i started playing playing got you all right <clears throat> and this was all last year beginning of 2019 so i basically the like the average player i will call myself average i might be below average but whatever right the average player will log in every day you get a login bonus you get like another freebie and then you are free to do whatever you want. Now they do have um, daily missions that if you complete those, you get certain like prizes and rewards like skip tickets and like, uh, what's another one that I use? Um, like, um, I forget right now, honestly. Oh, you get like, okay, you get like skip tickets and then you get like these orbs that help with soul boosting and soul boosting is basically expanding upon your character even more it basically boosts their stats like their attack their defense their special all that shit right so there's a lot going in in the framework of the game it makes it very replayable it's yeah. i guess it's deep in a sense if that, if that tickles your fancy right um and at the end of the day like you're basically doing this for your team like your unit yes. you like your units are your team com consists of six total characters and you can treat three of them as like supports that might have some kind of effect that um that helps out the um the the actual characters that you're going to be playing with right um or if you play like me is average i would try to have like a, a character that was as high as possible that that fit each color so that way when i go on the rank matches and i see like in the preview like who they got i'm gonna be like oh i feel like they're gonna use this guy this guy so i'm gonna try and counter that having this color for this cut for this guy so on and so forth and basically what i would be doing is i would just be logging in i would do the daily missions and then after that i would either go into like the event missions which is just like either there are ways to boost a certain specific character or just another way to get more crystals because the whole objective is you obviously want to have the best units mm -hmm. and every banner that comes out they introduce new characters which introduces more sparking characters more extreme characters more hero characters and you just you want the best of the best and you want to stay up to date because after a certain point, I'm not saying every banner guarantees a better sparking character, but eventually there's just gonna there's gonna be a character they release that outclasses the others. Right. We see this DLC in privilege. exactly DLC privilege is a real thing. Yep. Because it's not even just about how much better they are. Like I guess like in comparison to the characters that are out and available right now, but you have to also take into consideration when you're going into a fight in any fighting game right this is not this is just not even just with the mobile the dragon ball legends but like when you're going into a fight in a fighting game and you're and you are going online and you're playing hella people that might play a bunch of different characters you get like uh like like you understand the matchup right to who you're playing as soon as you introduce someone new it's up in the air because then it's like they have an advantage because they understand how everyone else plays. I.e. new Broly and fighters. Well, people are getting his shit now. It, it's it's he's been around for a little bit, so people and people. Only gimmick he's got is that he's tall. And he can fall for fuzzies. That's it. He's nice. I love him. He's too much. But I like you know I, I go in so like so yeah like so that's what you know that's what, that's what new DLC characters or whatever however we want to put it 
they have advantages you know and you have to adapt to like how they play and then you know you put the time in and then you get an understanding of how they are and then bam but then over time certain characters that might have been the best like s tier characters dude they like drop down to like a b yeah i'm like what the fuck happened like yo when broly first came out when full power super saiyan broly came out and i dude the amount of time and the amount and i actually this was and i regret this i used to spend money on legends i used to spend fucking money on legends whether it was ten dollars at a time dude there was one time i spent i put 20 on that shit just for the crystal pack because you're buying the crystals because the thing is that's what it's all about it is about getting the best characters and let's say you're the one of the lucky ones and you do enough multi summons to where you're fucking you're getting multiples of the same sparkings yeah. their star rating goes up they have now expanded on the game to where the the power levels they the max used to be 2000 then they raised it to three now it's at five and not you only gotta keep buying more and now they've they raised the star rating i think the max was like seven or eight now it's almost like it resets because yes you keep the same star rating but now you get red stars oh are those supposed to be like sparking stars or something nah it's just like it's just like the next it, level it's just the next level That's of star funny. rating so now they have a new max for the star ratings so and like so like when you're actually invested in like a fight, like a mission or whatever you're actually doing, what is this? Like Pokemon, you got a couple moves, you click one and your character just does that. So the combat system in Legends is kind of dope for a mobile game because like it is very like interactive. Like it's okay. not like you sit and wait. It's not like that at all. You actually, you, it's like it combines a card based system with actual fighting for a fighting game. Like um, for a mobile fighting game, I guess is, is pretty interesting because you can swipe to dash um and if you do it while an attack is coming you basically teleport okay and it's like an evasive right and then you have like your attack cards you got key blast cards you have like a stat special boosting card or whatever and then you got special cards which like give you a special move um and they all cost a certain amount of energy every character has 100 energy you hold and uh you hold the screen down to charge a key um and then you can like dash forward to approach you can hold back on the screen to go back um and then you can switch by tapping the other three the other two characters on your three-man squad when you're fighting to switch in between characters and then of course if you're using certain um cards that have the dragon balls on them that shit fills up and then when you get all seven you get what is like the super duper special move which I for some reason can't think of right now, but you can understand <laughs> that I know that I've been pl I've you can tell I've been playing this game for a while. Yeah, I've been low key reviewing legends right now on this podcast without <laughs> realizing it. It's all good, and like just so that people understand like exactly what goes on. So like the mechanics in the game itself, there's some fun to it, and then it gets flashy. Like the characters like they got some fucking dope special moves, and like and then when you when you do like the the like the 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 super move where you get all the seven dragon balls then like then there's a there's an opportunity where um you have to pick a card and then if it's not the and if your opponent doesn't pick the same one then the attack gets even harder and better and then the other two characters that or whoever's left on your team they get involved and involve their special Sounds moves some ultimate tenkaishi shit mm -hmm. that's funny mm -hmm. so yeah man like legends has its fun but right. the grind is garbage because at the end of the day it's all about who you got how many of them you have and the time spent trying to get the crystals just to summon is stupid because you could be spending hours just getting to a thousand crystals because i didn't even talk talk about that yet it normally costs a hundred crystals just to do one summon one simple summon you're not guaranteed shit right you have a chance a very small chance of getting a sparking because that's obviously who you're gunning for but at the same time when you do a multi summon it's like you know that's just how numbers work if you sh if you throw out more you're more likely to get that sparking and the multis cost a thousand fucking chrono crystals the amount of time spent behind getting said chrono crystals 
is a pain in the ass and unless you got the time good for you but a lot of times they're gonna get these people spending the money they got me and i'm not doing that shit again i'm really not i feel you i'm not like i t so after the one year anniversary right i said to myself if i don't get the characters i'm trying to get that they're offering for the the one year like celebration then i'm like i'm, I'm gonna be done with this game Right? I probably got one. I think I got Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. And there were some other characters that, that was in there. And I was like, and I didn't get them. And I was just like, okay. It's all good. I'm done. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm done. I actually put the game down. I didn't delete it or anything. Like, I wasn't like exaggerating or anything. But like, I was like, I am officially done with this game. Months go by. We're in the new year now. Leading into the new year, they released the GT banner. What do you know? Super Saiyan 4, Goku, Super Saiyan 4, Vegeta, and Baby Vegeta. Ah. Uh, there are all three of them are in there. Nice. Now, of course, they're pricks. They have two separate banners. One that's Super Saiyan 4, baby. The other one's Super Saiyan Vegeta, baby. So, of course, I'm going for the Goku one. Ask me how many times I got Goku. Which Goku? Super Saiyan 4, Goku. How many times you got Super Saiyan 4, Goku? <laughs> Zero times. They have it. They have it. What they call the step up banner, where you spend, crystal. You spend the low amount of crystals, but the more times you do the step ups, the more it comes. Oh, oh, okay. I was gonna say, is it the more likely you can get it? Or it's still well, pure they, that's that's the idea too. Like the higher in the steps, you're more likely to get guaranteed sparkings right, or working. whatever, or a thirty percent higher chance. That's, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Fucking Some, stupid. Yeah. Right. And I'm just like, I've already gone through the step up like one full cycle. I am currently working on the second step up. Still no Goku. But ask me how many times I got fucking baby Vegeta. How many? Like five times. <laughs> See, the thing with these oh, fucking man. games, right, is they're the way they want to structure it, the way they want to framework that, John, fine. If you if the, if the whole point is to grind and to get your crystals so that way you're, you you spend them on these banners in hopes to get who you want, that's like it's fine, but I I feel like there's there needs to be a system implemented where you can just go towards who you want rather than randomizing. Call pay to win. Pay to win is yo. Even when you pay, sometimes you don't win. That's RNG. Welcome to how the company, the video game company system, fucks you. And that's why. That, that's why. I, I, like I. That, that's not I mobile that games. Shit. That's not. That's everywhere. That is just what they have turned gaming into. Is just how can we make the most money and put the slightest effort yeah. into creating this? That's true. That's all I care that's about. That's fucking. So yeah, I think. Cause like. With with that aside, because like that sounds cool, especially like with the immersive like combat, whatever. Like I still haven't yeah, like, tried it like that, but I'm just saying the way I see mobile games in general, not that one. I'm just saying mobile uh, games yeah. in general, like any mobile game, not just Dragon Ball. The way I see mobile games, like when people like when I see people like investing on their phone, spending like hundreds of dollars in mobile games, I'm I'm like, yo, mobile games are the Super Dragon Ball heroes of gaming. Like, it is some promotional gimmicky shit uh, to keep you invested in whatever they're trying to promote. Super Dragon Ball Heroes is fun. And though. they're just trying to make money out of it. And yeah. it's like... I mean, that's what the market is, dude. They, yeah, I'm not with that. They're all trying. I mean, look at Jump Force. That was the biggest fucking flop of exactly what we're talking about. <clears throat> they showed us something flashy. Yeah. And they were like, yo, look, a brand new, freshly made Unreal Engine 4 toy. Look at these graphics. Look how good this game looks. Meanwhile, I was the only motherfucker back then when they announced it at E3. How's the gameplay? Does anyone care about that? Does anyone? Anyone? Raise your hand, you know? Like, anyone at all? Please enlighten me. Everyone and their mothers during that E3 like two years ago at this point now was like yo this game looks good i'm like guys keywords so ultimate, ultimate tenkaichi it looked great track keywords it looked yeah good you can't, you can't trust graphics no more because it's like they I can never only did. put their they can only put their like 
support into like one part of the department. Look, like, man. The better it looks. Look. Better look. keep an eye out. Like. I'm glad we're talking about these motherfucking video games and as far as and, and you know what Jump Force counts because Goku's in that shit, Vegeta's in that shit, right. Trunks is in that shit, Piccolo too, right? Shout out Yugi Moto. Oh, I love Yugi. <laughs> I loved Yugi in that fucking game. Okay, <laughs> but like and like look, I gave that game its chance. I built it up. I was a part of the hype crew behind that shit. Cool. Bandai didn't even work with me. They did not put me up to none of this shit. They didn't freaking give me the game early. They didn't do none of that. I wasn't. I'm not big enough. Let's be honest. I'm. I'm not big enough as far as like my YouTube channel and that goes. Like my reach as far as that, because that's what honestly matters. That's how that. That's yeah. how that shit works, right? But dude, even the people that they had behind that shit, if they had anybody, which I'm sure they did, they had plenty, right? They their their whole scheme is not. I don't even know if it's really a scheme, but like their whole plan is like, okay, so we're gonna make a game. That has and going to feature lots of characters that are very familiar. And at the same time, it's treated as an anniversary game. It's treated as an anniversary game to commemorate Shonen Jump for over 50 fucking years. And which is great, you know. And they even had a lot of characters that maybe not, like maybe some people didn't even know. Like, like I, I wasn't, uh, I wasn't um, put onto City Hunter until uh, that game came out. Mm. My girlfriend loves City Hunter, and she was like, "Oh my God, they're putting Rio in the game!" I was like, "Oh, this dude, this dude's a gangster. He's just pop, pop, pop. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> yeah. he's just got a gun. He's just, you know, just gatting it up over there." And then they had one of my personal favorites, Kenshiro from fucking Fist of the North Star, Hokuto no Ken. Like, ah, da, 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 da. Mm. All right, that guy. Okay, I love Kenshiro. They even put, they even saved JoJo's for last. Everyone knew. I was like, "Hold on." I was like, I was like, I was like, I was like, wait a minute. I was like, I was like, how y'all gonna have a jump game? You're not even fucking playing JoJo. I'm like, there's no, no, there's, there's no, way. no way they're not doing that. Surprisingly, they put in Asta. They put in um fucking in Boruto. Asta? Yeah, man. This was not even DLC. They put in Boruto. They put in yeah. Asta, and they put in Midoriya. I mean, Midoriya is not really. I mean, like if they, if they would have fucked up, they didn't put my fucking my hero in that shit, right? But they did, which is the, what matters, right? And I was like, yo, the roster looks fucking good. The, like, it, it's like... But it, how does it play? Exactly. How does it play? How's the yeah. story? How's all this shit, that's right? What, that's what it comes down to. And it fucking flopped, bro. It flopped faster than, like, I've ever seen any game that got so hyped up. And then it just immediately received shit. And it's a shame <clears throat> because... There is a group, a team of people behind this shit that know consciously what they're doing. And that's what fucks with me. Because I'm just like, <laughs> I'm like, y'all are really sitting around a table making these decisions. And yet... And nobody's disagreeing with this shit? And right. no, like, no one's saying anything? Yeah. Yeah, dude, that's that's that video. Bro, like, like what that's... what was it? Supreme Dream. Yeah. They, yo. Artie, shout out RDC where one Supreme yeah, Dreams, he, how video game companies be coming I, up with new games. I hope that I I hope I get to meet great facts. They got that shit nailed. I was laughing my ass off and it's so sad, but it's so true. It is it is a hundred percent true. It is. I, I it. hope I meet them motherfuckers one day. They're funny. I love as to fuck. do skits with them. Oh my god. That I would that. be I would, that love would that. be him, wild. Him, them and King Vader. Free. Free. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to be in their fucking videos, dude. Like, they're just yeah. funny dudes. They hit on topics. Like, they were anime guys, and now they're like... Oh, I mean, they were anime mixed with, like, whatever other skits they wanted to do mm. that was funny. Now they, they, they just do whatever the fuck skits they want. And and they, they their topics, on point. That was probably one of my favorite ones. Yep. As soon as they made that video game one, I was like, if this ain't the truth, <laughs> then I don't know what the fuck is no more, man. That is... If this ain't the truth, then I might as well be a lie. Cause this is OD. Mm -hmm. Like, <laughs> this is OD. Like, like, dude. <laughs> I'm thinking of this of, of the skit now. He was like, they, like they, you see a graph, right? And it's yeah. like you see the spike. Spike here, spike here, spike here, spike here. He's like, all right, yo. He's like, he's like, oh, we're gonna, we're gonna make a black clover. Play, Play like Naruto like Storm. Like, we're gonna make black clover. Play just like my hero. Yeah. <laughs> Like and they just had it and, and everyone was like yeah 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 that's it. He's like no one's seeing this. He's like you're fired. You don't yeah, know games, yeah, bro. Fucking games. <laughs> that shit was dude. That was one of the one that of was, the best ones. One of my favorite ones personally. Yes, absolutely. Hundred percent. 
That oh was my the most God. truthful shit I've ever seen in my life. But at the same time, though, like, even as true as that shit was, it still hurts. And it still sucks. Absolutely. Because we have to hold that. Because <laughs> as fans, like, we, we're just, we, just want, we just want good anime games, right? I know, like, I know, like, we... It's so hard to get a good anime game. It's so hard. Well, you know... I'm not saying we haven't had one. I'm yeah. just saying it's, it's so few and far between that it's... So a all shiny right. Pokemon. So before we elaborate more on the shit, let's 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 bring it back. All right, let's bring it back. And right after these next few messages, we're going to talk about some good. Let's 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 bring it back to good memory lane and talk about some of them good experiences out of whatever Dragon Ball games we could think of. Whatever Dragon Ball I heard. All right, so don't go nowhere. We'll be right back. Do you like Attack on Titan, Dragon Ball Super, Dr. Stone, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood? Well, those are just a few of the several different hundreds of anime selections that you can watch for free with my trial code for Funimation Now. All you gotta do is click that link in the description below and check out Funimation Now for a free 14-day trial period to enjoy all of these anime and many, many more. That's Funimation Now by using the link in the description below. Kai, what, what, what memories you got? Name any of your, your your games that you that that resonated with you that you had some kind of history with. Absolutely not. I want you to go first, and I have a reason for it. Okay, fair enough. I'll go with it. I prefer you go whatever games you liked. Give a quick reason or whatever, and we can elaborate on them later. But I would okay. like I would like to hear in the best chronological order you can think of, mm. as far as like thinking all the way back to when you were a kid, like the first Dragon Ball games you played, all the way up till now. We're talking about Kakarot coming out two days from now the day at the time we're recording this but um yeah i would like to hear like just what games you like to the to order to the best of your ability mm. and why they resonated with you and how they resonated with you so real quick go for it all right this <clears> is gonna <throat> be fun this is gonna be Let's fun i got a bunch are you ready oh i'm ready all right so i'm gonna try and keep this as orderly as i can yeah yeah, yeah. No, like it, it's cool all right as, all as right, much as you right. can first one budokai one naturally naturally right budokai one um I, I i honestly i would say the series of budokai even up to tenkaichi i yeah. will say that right so, so those six games <sighs> yeah, right, so yeah, yeah, yeah 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 so i'll I'm give a, him that i'm gonna cut you right there real quick we're gonna talk about budokai before we talk about budokai tenkaichi real quick so budokai why did the budokai series resonate with you oh my god yo it was it was my first dragon ball z fighting game it was my first Dragon Ball Z fighting game. When I, I never forget when I saw that shit on a commercial, I lit up. And that immediately went on my Christmas list. I said, Santa, if you don't fucking get this shit for me, I'm going to go Super Saiyan and go through that TV and pull that game out of there. All right. <laughs> but, yo, it was, it, was, it was something that I was so, like impressed with i was like oh my god it's a dragon ball z fighting game they have all these characters it looks good for the time on ps2 right and i was like i need this game now did you like the budokai series or the tenkaichi series more like budokai you like budokai more why I, is that i like budokai more because once i figured out how tenkaichi like how 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 the sleazy motherfuckers got their wins i was like nah. what you mean so to me in my experience tenkaichi and i know this is trying to this is supposed to be positive right i said that before the break but shit happens so. <laughs> but yeah shit, shit, happens. <laughs> shit definitely happens um the the the, the tenkaichi series was it, it went from it went from the 2d to like this the 3d realm right okay and a lot of the a lot of the fighting games that I really spent a lot of time with, I invested in, and you know, puts loads of hours into. My the favorite ones are always gonna be two D fighters, right? However, there was a few three D arena styled fighting games that worked for me, and I was like, yo, these games are legit. Like they are basically two D, but they introduced the sidestepping, which gives it that three D Z axis, whatever, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those games I fuck with. You know, for those that are wondering, Naruto, <clears throat> Gekito Ninja, Tyson I knew, I knew 4, in, yep. which is the Clash of Ninja series. That's done. Free, right? But with Dragon Ball, they came out with Tenkaichi, Budokai Tenkaichi, and I was like, yeah, okay, like, this is new. Budokai Tenkaichi was like... 
Listen, it was it was it was new, and at the time when they was at like, the time. well, yeah, at the yeah. time. That's the thing. The keywords is at the time, right? Yeah, yeah. like dude, for its time. Yeah, all those fucking characters that they introduced, like Tenkaichi, was the game that they were putting all these characters in the game and each iteration 10 kg 2 and 3 they had oh by 3 they had over a 150 oh no nah, 3 was lit 3 they had over 150 fucking characters but the what I got 3 was there but but me. but my thing with that though is like they cheated that number it wasn't really 150 it was like here's goku and five different forms you know, here's Goku base form. Here's Super Saiyan Goku. Here's Super Saiyan 2 Goku. But you know what? You got to also think about the come up from the Tenkaichi series. When you think about Budokai Tenkaichi 1, we could not even transform. That is true. What kind of mistake do you have that. in a show that's purely evolved around transformations and you can't make a single one? You're like, oh, I'm going to go into a fight with Goku. And then there's nothing to do. It's like, oh, you didn't go into Super Saiyan? <laughs> Sucks to suck. Yo, and see, and, and, that, and that, that helps my helps my reasoning while of yes. the regular Budokais. But that was only in one. They fixed it in two and three. So I yeah. was like, like one got me, one got me so tight for that reason alone. Dude, but I'm just, and it goes back to like, I'm over here thinking like, yo, look at Budokai 3. Like, nah, Bud Budokai 3 is an exception. Budokai 3 was, Budokai 3 is one of the greatest Dragon Ball games created. It's just, Budokai I, 3 was insane. Budokai 3 was insane. That shit was sick. I'll never forget. You had to. You had to freaking. You took your character and Dude, then you. The you, they you, had you like, oh yeah. yeah, bro. And you put the skills on, so you so you knew exactly what moves you wanted. Mm -hmm. All that shit. Like I was. I was always that kid yeah. that made sure when I played Goku, I had Kaioken, Super Saiyan, all the way down to four, Kamehameha, yeah. and Spirit Bomb. Every. Oh wait, no, Dragon Fist. Good. Everything in that game was really good. I really like Budokai 3. It was, it was an OG. And that was that was really like the first, 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 first time they introduced some type of like open world when you just like fly around the map and go get your story. Yes, that story mode. That see, that story mode was godlike. For and console. Yeah, that story mode was godlike. I loved how they introduced that. Yep. I loved it so, so much. And they introduced GT because GT wasn't in Budokai 1 or 2. Yes. That's another did. reason. And the opening for Budokai 3 is fire. <gasps> wow, 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 wow. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's fire. Uh right. pure flames. Dude, that that see yeah. We <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna get back to Budokai because we'll right, so, we'll spend the rest of the freaking show talking about Budokai. The we other actually game, could, so continue. Continue on to Tenkaichi real quick so we talk about some goods and bads. But like Tenkaichi, what what's something that you didn't like? Why it didn't it didn't sit well with you? Like maybe you enjoyed it a decent amount or enough to like, I, yeah. like the Dragon Ball game, but like why didn't it resonate with I you? I enjoyed playing the CPU all the time. Mm. But then as soon as I started playing humans, I was like, why the fuck are y'all playing like this? Like, they, I would be playing people that literally the meta was key blast to keep them away, beam blast. There was no up close combat. You're not wrong, but what I think is wrong is classifying a game based on how humans are running it. Oh, I know. But dude, that that, that is my experience from however young I was back at, at the time. And it soured, it soured it for me, but it didn't keep me from playing it. Because mm -hmm. as you know, I kept buying the, the iterations that came out. I kept supporting it, playing it, doing the, the story modes and whatnot. Um, but like that was my first initial beginning to like realizing that anime like actual anime fighters that are not not blaze blue not guilty gear because that term is used for those types of games and anime fighting game like i started to realize anime fighting games are like they are not gonna really ever see like the competitive light as far as like being supported at events and shit like that because anybody could run a tournament Right? Anybody anybody could say, yo, we're gonna do Raging Blast today. And You didn't well, like Raging Blast, is that right? I played the first one. I believe I bought the second one. I didn't play it as much. And to me, when I was playing it, I was like, this is just another Tenkaichi. I'm just like, I got over it quick. That's so not cool. You totally you totally used your experiences of other people literally just button mashing. Uh, experience with me! <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you used your experiences based on playing other people, like button mashing, just not knowing what the fuck they're doing, just like, ah, keep like, just like doing shit like that. <laughs> like, it, like, if we could have played those games at this age for the first time, like, 
it would have been, been tight different, different because yeah. we have the intellectual like combat like ability to just weave those you well, know yeah, what i mean to yeah. just like not like because like realistically speaking yes that was the meta yes people did that shit a lot you're not the only one that experienced that shit but as a kid and as a lover of dragon ball and as someone who likes games that are more open world based or in dragon ball's terms more realistic from a 3d aspect mm. while i did still enjoy the entire budokai series and three was lit the fact they introduced 3d elements and the fact that regardless of how other people tried to ruin it for me with their bs type gameplay we weave those even as a child we like weave those. i literally I put people <laughs> down we weave those that's not happening like oh. I, I really like i really play with those but yeah that's that's tenkaichi that was like that was like my touch of like the first like more realistic dragon ball game because like the whole idea of like dude you got a command man coming at you are you gonna a jump are you gonna b eat that shit in the face are you gonna c block it? Yeah. can you even block it like <laughs> get like stuff like that like i was just i don't know like it was a it was an amazing game and there was actually a lot of skills like budokai 3 specifically there was a lot of skill that um was required for it but i'm just saying that i personally like the more realistic aspect of like flying all around up down left right you know like x y and z axis in your shit x y and z i mean so, I, I i respect that like and like raging blast regardless of how people feel about it as a game y'all need to understand that game was probably as far as the 3d games are concerned raging blast one raging blast two is, uh, is a close second they did fix some stuff because like it was still you know you know games back then were glitchy just all games had their own mm. glitches and stuff like that but we just got to put that aside because glitches are glitches and if you're abusing it then you're not you're not there right. but when people are talking about competitive and other shit like People like to say all the time things like that. Like, the 3D worlds aren't competitive. And 2D is, you know, a side-scroller, wall poetry ass games. Like, those are the competitive ones. Yo, and there's nothing wrong with that. Guy. And they're absolutely right. They're absolutely right. They're the most popular by demand. And that's just how it goes. But to say that the 3Ds are not even worthy of classifying as competitive because people can spam something that you couldn't bother to move to the left... <laughs> Are you kidding me? Like people that literally, <laughs> literally went around saying like about like Raging Blast and all this other stuff. Like, yeah, it's a trash game. Like, yeah, it's not competitive. This and that. Like, you must never have played that game online. That Raging, the Raging Blast series took out of all the 3D series in Dragon Ball. That was the most skillful thing I've ever seen. Yeah, you're not wrong, man. That I'm was so intense. Yeah, because I was definitely... See, because, like, my way of thinking when I played fighting games back then is not how I think now. Like, I think, obviously... See, mine, mine has always been the same. That's fucking... See, you... Yeah. See, if I had... If I was playing these games like I play them now, then... But you don't play them now. No, but listen. At all. My point is you don't that... Even un, you don't even take them out the wrapping. <sighs> all right. <laughs> my point is that, obviously, like, yeah, like you gotta like when like back in the day like i was just trying to like just get hit some like i was just trying to come at people that was it you know like yes yes that's all i wanted to do was come at people yeah but and but i didn't i never thought that oh like i gotta defend sometimes and i can't always go in like, and dude I, like they had ways like they had really creative ways they had raging blast one had a whole thing like a whole tetris system as a character customization you had different pieces. You had this big ass box, like 30 by 30, not not exactly, but like 30 by 30 square or something, right? And they would give you like like a plus or like a big ass a box. Plus. Yeah. <laughs> and you would have to like you would have to like fill that shit. So like perfect example, I like use this screen, right? This screen will be your character's like customization opportunities. You would get a box like this big. You put this box in the corner. Now you have all the rest of this space to work with. You got a plus. You gotta fit that plus in that box. Like you could find ways to like boost your character's defenses or off offenses and you could build characters like that statue hp like twice as much as you got build wow. characters that you could really fuck with online and when people go online that shit didn't matter because the people online were savages i was in clans of people that were like ranked in the u.s for just like for just staying online all day every day kids that just like bought people mm -hmm. and like that was those were intense like that changed my gaming experience because i never like 
I played, I played competitively, I played to come at people's necks, but at the same time, <laughs> at the same time, like, I thought I was hot shit, and then, you know, that's usually how it goes for games. You think you're hot shit, you go online, and get your ass beat. That's just yeah, games. That's, that's just games in general. But, like, the Raging Blast series really taught me different. Like, they, like, they were innovative as people. Yeah. Like, they, they weave those. <laughs> like... Yeah, I just didn't. Intense. If I played a little different, like if I implemented any kind of sort of thinking, then like I probably would have had a different experience. But yeah, I went crazy. I had I had people that were teaching me how to play like those games. Like I had like real like mentors in those games. I would like log in, hang in for a couple hours in the training room or whatever. They'd be like, "Oh yeah, you can't use this combo. Or you need to switch up the combo like this. Do it like this because you you got the triple kick, key blast, this and that." And I'm just like, mm. "Damn, what is yeah, that? that is like wild. people go crazy at like all the people that only play like 2Ds or people that like." pick up a 3d go through like five six missions of the story they're like nah this game's trash y'all can get, nah, it. Can get it. i'm not like completely that. i'm not saying you like that nah, nah. but there are people like that people that completely judge games based off of that opinion of playing it for two hours completely and don't understand the technical yeah. combative ability of like games like that yeah the 3ds were od like really fun really competitive and they had a lot of amazing elements in it that people just dub. Mm. They definitely did. They dub before they even learn it. And I it's such a learning that. curve to go from 2D to 3D that some people literally put it down off the sheer, like, what, what, what's her intimidation factor. Mm. Okay. Damn, that was... No. Raging Blast, the Raging Blast series is my favorite. Number one all time. That's, that was your favorite? That's because that changed gaming for me. Because, like, the people that I met and the, the things that I've been through there we had we literally set up like online tournaments like 5v5s and stuff like that not like five people at the same time but with like brackets where we would like all yeah. go in a tournament and like pin each other up whatever and do all that and yeah mm. it was intense it was a real it was a real online community and that was amazing for me that's what that's what's up yeah going on with my list of other games that that really got got to me that mm. i can remember for like whatever reasons Outside of Budokai. Yeah, um, Budokai was so good. It was honestly Boost Fury on dude, the Game Boy Advance. I never put that down. Anytime I left the house, it was Boost Fury all day, every day. Dude, remember the the the, the remember menu trying theme? To get the, the oh like the the menu theme at the at the star screen. The, da, na, 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 na. It was like a remix of Super Saiyan. Yeah, 3. it was. Yeah. That shit was but fire. like for me, one of the things I really liked about that game. I liked everything about that game, I'm not gonna lie. I played through it hundreds of times, like crazy, ridiculous amount of yeah, hours and I, I definitely spent played in it multiple game. times. But one of the hardest things, like as a kid trying to go through was the three second window or whatever small ass window it was, they gave us the fuse and be like, fusion. And they'd be like, off that left or A B start. It just like hit that Yo, shit in like two seconds to I try to get that, that to fuse. Like, I forgot all about oh that. Oh my god. I forgot That's all OD. about that. That's yeah, I remember yeah, damn. They had a lot of good stuff in that game. I and love that dude, game. Dude, Boost okay. Boost Fury, Boost Fury was, godlike. was a game. It was the best Game Boy Advance game. It covered like all the things that happened in Z. Yes. Like everything. Yes, it did. It covered everything. The whole story. That was what like was that was like our first like action adventure RPG. You had to level up your attack was, and all that shit. It was a Boost shit. Fury. But there was something else before that. Yeah, Legacy of Goku. Weird. Legacy that of Goku 1 and 2. Legacy of Yes, thank you. Legacy. Yeah. Bro, Legacy of Goku 1. I had like as a child I dubbed it cuz like I had it, I played it, I tried to play it a lot, but that like it was really confusing and there were certain parts that like just Yo, didn't like I got another one. Go for it. I totally just you Legacy hearing... of Goku 2 though. Legacy of Goku 2 was type different. I didn't actually 2 was a lot better I than 1. I played them, but I never beat them. But Boost Fury? I, I don't think I beat I 1. Beat the shit oh, nah. Boost, Boost Fury. Fury, I remember everything about Boost Fury. I played that way too much. Dude, I love... The one thing I was... Before I go into the next one, the one thing I loved about Boost Fury was that Broly was in it. <laughs> Dude, yeah. I'll never forget, like, after you do the cell shit, mm. and before you get too involved with, like, the, the, the world of the tournament... I almost called the Tournament of Power, but the World Tournament yeah, almost... <laughs> with Gohan, Goten, and Trunks. Like, then like the Broly mission starts. I'm like, oh my god, Broly's in this game. Yeah, you gotta fight Broly. Like, yeah, dude, it, was, it was sick. It was dope. What's the next one? The Dragon Ball GT <gasps> final. What is it? Final, final bout? bout. Final bout. Dude, that shit was a side scroll. Yes, yes, it on, was on the Game Boy Advance. They had it. I had it on yeah. PlayStation One what? as well. 
they made i'm pretty sure it was maybe it was grand bout on there maybe that yeah was a I, I might be getting but the yeah, title wrong bout. But, but yeah yeah i'm thinking of the side scroller one yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. i know which one you're talking about though yeah that was that was such a oh my god that game was Game so Monty much fun the graphics were good on that shit for a Game Boy Advance yeah game. dude fuck I played that shit on the SP had that I had my you know if, if, if I was to find my SP and held it like the last because the last time I, I found it I have my SP and Boost Fury still in it Dude, that shit is tiny. I didn't realize. Like, I thought that that back then it was huge. Because now people got TV screens in their pockets as phones. Uh, that's true. That is so true. Oh my god. That's facts. The times have changed. Yeah, they have. But yeah, dude, that GT game, man. I played that shit so many times. It had it had the cooperative play. You could play um, with like people that was local. See, you know what? That 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 makes me realize something real quick. <clears throat> Mobile games will not be Game Boy Advance games. And like Game Boy Advance games are what mobile games should have been they could in a be. way. They could be, but that's not what the companies are doing. If they're not putting in effort like that no more. Honestly, out of okay, so from what we have right now mobile wise for Dragon Ball games, we have Dokkan, which is like a very, very card based kind of system mm -hmm. where it's like you match and stuff. Legends combines cards system while also combining like fighting and like rpg elements stuff like that right um however and then Dokkan has a little bit of rpg too um but they don't have <clears throat> they don't have like a side scroller one or like <laughs> act like those if they made one like that i love beat em ups and i love side scrollers those types of games are just fun they're just fun uh -huh. i'm not crazy <clears throat> like for dragon ball I'm not crazy about side scrollers. I think the only exception has been fighters because I really enjoy fighters. But like, I'm just not crazy about the whole side scrolling concept in the DBZ world because for me, it's something that should be open. It's something that should, I should be able to fly around and like beat your ass from like you know like yeah. I should be able to like beam clash. Well, I mean, there's beam clashes in side scrollers too. But I'm just saying, you know, like things like that. Like it's more realistic to me. Yeah, and like, like that's what that's what mattered to me. Like good gameplay and realism. I think yeah, like when they did the story for Budokai Three. I thought the story mode was dope because he oh, gave no, you that. Oh, no, the story mode was so, so good. Dude, I remember going to CheatCC.com back in the day, looking up freaking how to unlock the characters. <laughs> Dude, like, because you had to do missions. You had to do special missions. You had to, do, you had to trigger oh, shit. Oh, I know. You had to, it was so hard, yeah. man. Like, you could, like, dude, if I tried to yeah. figure that out without any kind Some of guide. Some of the missions in Budokai 3 were too much. Like, <laughs> Dude, like, that, Yo, those games were Boo, hard. Kid Boo in every PS2 game was too much. Like, <laughs> Listen, Kid you know Boo. how, uh, <clears throat> you remember how the life bar was green, yellow, red? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it would, you, like, once you depleted green, it would go yellow. Once yeah, you depleted yeah, yeah, yellow, yeah. it would go red. My dude, Kid Boo, had, like, blue, yeah, blue, like blue, all the way to purple. yeah. Yeah, that's what you do. Like, he had like oh, seven shit. or eight like, life yeah. bars, dude. It was such... And you only had the, the regular three. Mm -hmm. He was so hard to defeat. Oh, and talking on games real quick, as we bounce into the future of Dragon Ball games, the Raging... Well, not not even Raging Blast because it was implemented before in the Tenkaichi series. Talking about fusing your characters. When you got a team of five characters on your team, you pick a Goku and Vegeta. Your, your Goku is like 50% HP. Your Vegeta is 50% HP. You're like, all right, bet you and you put that together you get a full hp to go like gogeta uh wait but what like, game is that huh what game is that huh are you talking about fusions no oh what game literally like any of the 3ds they had that in raging blast and both raging blast oh, they had see? that in the tenkaichi I like didn't. you could fuse them i didn't i didn't play that, that dude much. when you had like a full hp goku and vegeta on your team in budokai tenkaichi 3 you could fuse them and instead of having like you know like three bars or four bars whatever the whatever the main was you would have like a gogeta super saiyan 4 of eight bars and you would just like lose someone off your team for that okay i do remember the fusing part tough, bro the fusing part was dope but they i don't had, remember the extra that life max bars. key form they had whatever too like when you would charge your key all the way because like you had to charge your key to a certain oh point and it was extra it sparks and yeah like that. the blue sparks yes. whatever on your key when you had that in budokai tenkaichi you would have like crazier combo opportunities because you didn't have a limit on what you're able to do gogeta was you like would the best just character keep oh he was yeah he absolutely Super was. Four gogeta Super was, Saiyan the four gogeta was the best character in that, that game. i remember hands down damn what a fucking trip yeah my gosh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I left off at GT Final Battle. Or whatever, whichever the, the side scroller one on the Game Boy Advance was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I literally am so tight because there was supposed to be a sequel. And it never happened. They literally, back in the day, they listed it. 
when I was making my Christmas list, yeah. I was looking you put online, it on it, waiting for it, and I yeah. was like, "Yo, look! They, that's how you know it's coming," because it was like a December release date, and they had no image. It was like no image on the game, but it said yeah. Dragon Ball GT, like final bow, whatever the hell it is two. Yep. And I was like, "There you go, it's coming," because that first game didn't even cover the whole story. Mm -mm. So I was like, "Oh, we need to do Super Seventeen. We need to fucking get through to the to the to the Dark Dragons and all that stuff." Never happened. But you know what? We have faith in Kakarot. Dude, that, that game has all the potential. That game looks like its its gameplay looks pretty pretty immersive. I really like the way they got the tech on like the dashing and everything like that. The way they got like some of the punches. But we'll see. We'll see how if it plays. They, if they if they if they if they do it right, I'm a hundred percent sure the story mode will be lit. I will gladly dump money into this game. If they if they if they give us the the, the side arcs and like not even just the side arcs, but like once you beat the main game and then they have like DLC expansions where it mm. like adds more story modes, mm. like. Think about it. Let's just think about this, guys. Think about when Z ends. What does Z end with? Oob, right? Yeah. Okay, what happens before that? Super. A whole other series happens before the end of Z. Yeah. They, I can't, okay. So there was something that got released. They was going over trophies and the trophies kind of spoil things. I'm not going to say what happened because all I know, all I'm saying is that this guy is going to fucking flip. <laughs> that's all I'm going to say. But there's oh, there's some shit that's going to be in the game that honestly I thought about. I was like, you know, they could, but who knows? But but, are, we are we talking like trophies, like a trophy you earn like no, no, no. in game? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, so, like achievements? Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like they were. So, so the achievement list spoils some characters that are included in, in Kakarot. Oh, okay. I see what you mean. I mean, they do that. They do that in some games. They do that. Yeah. And people were kind of tight because obviously when they reveal the fucking trophy and achievement list prior to the game's release, that could potentially it like, could tell you spoil. A lot. Yeah, yeah, bro. Like you could, tell you, a lot. you could see like what kind of missions you're going to do. The ba the boss battles you're going to do. Like, I'm just saying, I will, I will honest. Yo. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. They got Kakarot right now, okay? They're probably going to have some season pass. Probably, right? Absolutely. They're going to have like five. If they're not smart, man, they absolutely need to give us extra, extra, extra missions and story missions because look, man, I know motherfuckers are going to want to play Tournament of Power. Bro. I know they're going to want to do Future Trunks. I know they will make so much money if they gave with Broly missions. I'm gonna just I'm gonna just eat that real quick back into the whole Supreme Games RDC World One thing because that's another part they mentioned in that video when they talking about man, they don't want a good story mode, they want a boring story mode, and they wanna pay the twenty dollars for another piece of the story <laughs> mode. <laughs> and that's exactly what these people are Yo, doing. But look, that's what oh I'm saying. My God. I will look, look, look. <sighs> if if let me tell okay. If I can't, I if can't. one story mode if one story mode expansion was twenty, that's easy. I don't care how many times. I, if they gave me Broly 1, Second Coming, even Bio, I don't even care. Even Bio, and then Super Broly, I would spend whatever it was to do all of those missions. And then they could have fun with it. Then they could hit me with the, oh, but here's some bonus shit that happens on Vampa after Goku says peace. And then it's the fucking young Gigi shit. Ooh! And no, then no, it's no, the no, 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 I'm done with you. Okay, I'm next done, game, done. next game. Um, we, we, we take it too long on this. I know, but I told you, this is going to be a fun episode. All about <laughs> the fucking video games. Um, Other oh, one that man. I can remember that really... Well, Dragon Ball Fighter is not going to lie. Um, is definitely one of my favorite... Yeah. Favorite games, for yeah. sure. For Dragon Ball, especially. Sure. Because it was like a legit... It's, it, it is the most legit fighting game that yeah. they've ever made it's That's competitive it has its own world that tour the story mode i never finished it so you're foul i know you're foul i never and finished actually it. bro i'm gonna just plug this in there when you play the story mode of fighters please play that shit in english because when okay. you when you hear cells 
foul ass lines against all these other interactions that he's never supposed to have they recorded so many new lines for that game and cell is a pure savage you know i met the voice actor for cell i believe it he's an interesting individual but, but yeah. yes but yes dude that is perfect the, Ooh, oh my god yeah, yeah dude, right. so like they they did like the voice actors i mean of course you know some you know japanese and english voice acting was amazing but i'm just saying like you know for people that watch that z grew up on that in english you know as children seeing that cell just literally put people in the dirt with comments of his own that's uh, just hilarious cell definitely earns cell and frieza talking to each other is oh, just a whole like you just grab your popcorn and watch that movie i felt like i was watching more dragon ball when I was playing through the story mode of that. I never skipped a scene. Dude, I feel like Cell earns the trophy of best roaster. Oh, absolutely. In absolutely. Dragon Ball history. He, yes. Yes. Cell is the best roaster of Dragon Ball history. He is the shit. Absolutely. Ah, oh, man. I love it. Damn. Yeah. Greatness. Roast everybody. Other than fighters, that's like Dragon Ball. So I will have to say the Super Butoden games. Now, those are Japanese exclusive. You can only get them on Super Famicom, mm. which is a Japanese Super Nintendo. And the reason I say those games is because they're a part of my whole like story with getting a Super Famicom. And I literally won those games off eBay on a bid, on an, a live auction while I was in school. Wow. Like, my teacher at the time was cool enough that when I was doing the auction and trying to win that shit while lunch was going on... And my neck, the, the lunch that went into the next period was in that classroom and it was a computer room, <laughs> right? He, I literally told him my scenario and I'm like, I can win this if lunch, if the bell rings and lunch is over <laughs> and when class is about to start, just give me the few minutes that I need to just win this and I will go right back to my fucking assigned seat and just, and we could, y'all, you could do whatever, all right? And just, I just need to win this, right? And he goes, okay. Damn. He goes, he's like, all right, fine. He, he goes, this guy, okay, literally is the reason why I even own a Super Famicom right now. Not because he paid for it, but he allowed me he the allowed opportunity to win, yeah. to win this shit. That's lit. I got the Super Famicom, and I got all three Super Butorin fighting games. And Hyper Dimension, too. Mm, there was a... There was a really good, I'm pretty sure Japanese only because I ain't got my hands on it, but there was a really good Dragon Ball game. It looked good. It looked like it played good on arcade alone, I think, down Zenkai there. Zenkai Battle. Is that what it was? They had they had one over there. It's I, I was I was hyped for that. That I never is got a to see 3D the light of day. as fuck. It's yeah, it never that shit never came out here. Okay. Actually, they did we we tried to make something that was in the spirit of that game. But it wasn't that game. I see. Yeah. I think it was Battle of Z. Ours was. Ours was Battle of Z. I almost completely forgot about that game. I played that game a decent bit. It was it was Battle of Z, yeah. It was but it not, had its moments. It was good. It was that arcade game I actually sat down at. That shit is I wanted to play that game. I couldn't even tell I could dude, when I sat at that game, I was with Brother Uch, of course. This was our first time we went to Japan. We found that shit. I was like, holy shit. Like, this is the, this is it. This is the game. We try to play it. We're like, dude, we have no idea what the fuck is going on. <laughs> this shit is fire. Yeah. It was crazy. Like, super dope. Yeah. Battle of the Z was cool. Battle of the Z was weird. But yeah, it was there. I think, yeah. I enjoyed it, but it was like, it's not it's not anywhere at the top of the food chain, but I enjoyed nah, it. Yeah, like, yeah. That Those are like, honestly, like, those are all the games that I can remember. Oh, wait. No, there's one more. Fucking on the DS, Dragon Ball Z Super Sonic Warriors 2. I played that. That game is fire, son. I played that. Oh, my God. That game, yo, my, I didn't even have it. Another Brother Uch game. Another Brother Uch exclusive. Another Brother Uch exclusive. This motherfucker had that shit. Yo, I watched him play it, and then I would take that shit, and I would play it, right? Dude, that game was fire. It was high-paced action fucking <laughs> it was beautiful like it was crazy it, it, it was so dope it was so dope so dope I, I i didn't even like i played it enough to like it i was like yo i need my own copy and i never got it <laughs> but yeah that, that shit super sonic warriors Dude, Shin Budokai 2. 2 was like my like after boost fury like once i got a psp and everything Shin Budokai 2 PSP. was like i was really enjoying that one. 
Shin Budokai I played. It's not. It was. It was fun. The it story was fun. mode was fucking. That was like the it first was... time we saw Vegeta do Kamehameha, like in the story mode, not in like not part of his move set, like in the story mode. Yeah, I remember that. Mm -hmm. It was like weird. I well, was, like, was in that John too. Of course, they try to make money. They know how to make money. They put they put Broly on that shit. The green. Dude, I remember a selling point for Raging Blast, random. Super Saiyan 3 Broly, Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta. I remember that yep. shit. Yep. DLC. They really did that. Yep, they, yep. That was the first time they did that Super shit. Super Saiyan 3 Broly and Vegeta. Yep. I will never that was, forget that. That was the first time they started Dude, the dabbling openings, with fake characters. The openings for Raging Blast 1 and 2. I don't remember how they went. Fire. I don't remember how they went at all. They're really good. See, like, that's how you know I rem I resonated hard with the Budokai OG trilogy, the Ariz Tridge, because I remember how all those songs went. Raging yeah, Blast? Absolutely not. You just didn't play it. Wait a minute. There was another fighting game that they did. For Xbox 360, PS3. Burst Limit. Oh, my God. <laughs> that was it. I Burst, I Burst Limit. Limit 2. I was not crazy about that game. It looked great. Yeah. Played trash. Yeah. Yeah. It, it was, was one of those. It was rough. It was like a... And it, then yeah, like then there was the ultimate Tenkaichi, and I'm I'm not gonna mention it further. That's it. It existed. It's done. Yeah, yeah. But hey, man, I know, I know, I know you want to talk about Xenoverse for a little bit. Not really. No. Nah. Why? Because you're not with it. It doesn't. Uh, I've accept. I've come to accept the fact that you're never gonna play Xenoverse ever, and that's cool. Like I can, I can talk about it. I can like, I can plug it. I can, you know, like either I can like put people on it or take people off it depending on what aspects they they prefer to like play games with but at the same time like I don't know I'm cool I've accepted it I'm with it listen you I mean you can talk about it we'll talk about it but like I'm not itching to I'm not itching to talk about it you have your opinion I have my opinion well my opinion is not a bad one because honestly not gonna lie you have you are fully responsible for showing me more light of the game and the series than like prior to like what i've originally believed on i that. just it just feels bad because like you played through xenoverse one and that was just as bad as ultimate tenkaichi damn that's the first time i'm hearing that that game xenoverse one was <laughs> just as bad as ultimate tenkaichi Yo. okay when i mic. when i went to get dude i was i was in college and i was at university and Someone was trying to buy, two people were trying to buy my PS4. And I was so balls deep in the MMO verse that I was like, you know what? I could use the money. I'm not playing anything on this shit anyway. Fuck it. Yeah, I'll sell it. <laughs> Why not? All right, talking about prices, talking about this, that. I'm, I'm ready to sell my PS4. That shit was almost gone. And then I heard, like, what? I had seen the trailers as I saw Xenoverse 2. I was like, man, why are they going to make another? I was like, man, I'm done with you. Don't, don't make this shit, please. And I watched the trailer and I was like, it looks like they fixed some stuff. Like, it actually looks like you could kind of play it. And I was just like, you know what? It's Dragon Ball. They ain't make a good Dragon Ball game since Raging Blast series. So, you know what? I'm going to just pre-order it. And if it's trash, I swear I'll take that shit back to the store. So, I called them up. I was like, look, there's like a 99% chance you go and get this shit sold for me. This PS4 is sold for me. But I need to buy this game. It's coming out around the same time as my birthday. I'm going to get that shit. If it's trash... You got the PS4 money bags done. Money if it's bags. It's not trash. Where there was like a two in my head, there was really a two percent chance that Xenoverse Two was gonna be a good game. Damn. Bought it. I played it, and I never stopped playing it. I was like, damn. They actually, they actually did well. I was like, shit. There you go. <laughs> That's funny. But yeah, I mean, my my thing with Xenoverse is originally i used to think that this game was just like another 3d ass mm. game and yada yada <laughs> yada right you already know but i did play the entire uh because you'd be slumped on the 3ds that's why like that's why i'm like not itching because like you the you the 2d i'm the 3d yeah yeah like I, i'm not gonna lie like i was brought up on 2d traditional fighters that's just how that goes um, and then, of course, with this, brought with, up on track it, Paul. Uh, yeah, I mean, with the with the with the <laughs> exception of like some of the arena fighters, like I mentioned, like Naruto, the Clash of Ninja series. That's a, that's a, that's a game with yeah, sidestepping. Naruto, yeah, that was a fun game. Fucking those games. Yes. Are they like they're like GNT Four is like my favorite anime fighting game. Those are fun games. But um, but yeah um, like <sighs> those games were sick, right? But then with Xenoverse. I was like very turned off. Like I, 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 so story mode. That was what I played it for. But you, this guy, was the one who tried to put me. Nah, into I the, played Xenoverse two competitively. I didn't play it for see? the story mode. 
He was trying I to put me on to competitively. Yes. He has a actual track record of mopping motherfuckers to the point now he don't, don't want to go. You don't see him widescreen, you're not stepping to me. I don't. It's not happening. Need I say more? Like, but in, not in the Raging Blast series, not in the Xenoverse series. You're not stepping to me. Yeah. Straight facts. They should. We should. I, I should have a stream with you one day where I like step right up and try to defeat the homie Kai in Dragon Ball Universe Two. Like, the, people just enter the lobby and then just like try their hand at defeating you like who knows that would be that would be kind of fun i'll use i'll use regular goku black i won't transform you gotta make me transform that would be hype if someone actually did i would if love someone, to commentate I'm, that that's that's no that's no ego that's no that's no like oh i'm i'm a hot shot xenoverse that's no that is straight facts i promise you will get washed i will i will bump the sound up on the tv and play you blindfolded and go off of the punches that's how much i play xenoverse too don't step to me if you want help, if you want training, if you want to get nice, if you want to play that competitively, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> at KaiCast underscore Sama, KaiCast Sama on PSN. Go ahead. Oh, my God. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> but you're not, but you're not stepping to me, though. Oh. If you try to get nice, if you try to see a good game, if you try to have a good time, we can always have a good time. It don't matter what game it is. I can always have a good time just play it. But, like, if you're trying to come in my neck for that, I promise you, you're going to get put down. Maybe even with a perfect. Oh, perfect. Listen, <laughs> I, nah, I, I pray that somebody sees this and they and steps to me and actually wins. I pray that because I need more sparring partners. I pray that I pray that somebody sees this, adds me and beats my ass because those are the people I'm looking to play with to have a good time and to get better at the game in general because I like that game and it's cool and yeah, I play it competitively and I got a couple people and we can run 2v2s, 3v3s, 1v1s, it don't matter. We're not abusing no glitches, we're not playing like no, like that that game takes skill too and like yes with with cac's you know your own creative characters that's a whole take that shit out because like i understand that's what xenoverse is all about but like when you play it like as a real game you have to put those characters aside because those characters are way too gimmicky way too hoey of course and it's just not, yeah they're way too hoey so like we play with original characters and we play for a good ass time and that's what it's Facts. all about see i like so that. That's why that's why I can still say like that's why I like Xenoverse. You gotta put the CACs aside. I was gonna say also that I hope someone sees this not just to to like challenge you, but like I hope enough people will hear this call out and people It's not a call look, out, it's a shout out. And then people look for like those like those people that actually they, they know they play Xenoverse just for this. Yeah. And like to the point where I actually have to like organize this in like a stream. Like, okay, <laughs> like this is the Xenoverse stream featuring Kai. I'll be commentating these matches. I'll be commentating these matches. Because you, you know? know those matches can get really intense. Like I showed you a couple clips or something. Like you they have. can get really intense. I will admit they do. And it takes some skill to do that. Like it takes a lot of reads and a bunch of other stuff too. Like it's good stuff. I uh, so another thing I will say the the, the, the that definitely um, backs up how I'm like not gonna be able to play that game for who knows how like for another Probably how, ever. because now with Kakarot coming bro like I am telling you like I'm that gonna seems be to be a story mode game though so I know cool. but I'm gonna be covering the shit out of that game so much and the, with the amount of content that they're already kind of letting us know that's gonna be mm. in it like. I'm gonna be streaming it. I'm gonna be uploading my playthroughs. I'm gonna be put, like sure. putting up like hell of different videos about it. Like any kind of like funny shit I might find or like anything like that. I'm gonna be really trying to come up on this Kakarot game, like content wise. So that's cool though. And it's that's so good. and it's a blessing in disguise that they pushed final fantasy 7 remake to april <laughs> because now that means i have way more time to play kakarot like play the shit out of it yeah you know like that will be the game like i will be playing almost exclusively like like i will i will dabble in my fighting games just to stay current you know and like make sure i'm not like too rusty but like I'm telling you right now, like it's gonna be worse than how it was with with Pokemon Sword and Shield. Like I beat the shit out of Sword on stream, did the, did the playthrough. I learned from my mistakes. I'm not gonna upload hours and hours of a play yeah, uh, part that. one. I, I checked that out. Like, cause <laughs> honestly, like people are not gonna sit there and watch all fucking two, three, four, five, six hour streams worth of uh, like a gameplay thing. I'm gonna I'm gonna let you guys know now what, what what my plan is. I'm gonna be doing like like even if I take them from my streams. It's gonna be like 25 minute chunks. Mm. That's a lot better. That's more reasonable. 
um and obviously i'll produce way more videos that way so but yeah that's that's dragon ball video games that is the dragon ball video games episode right yeah there, man i knew going in i was like this is gonna be a fucking it's gonna amazing be a doozy. one i was i was actually not ready for this one because i was like you took you you were i had to like i had to take a deep breath because you were like all right today we're gonna talk about video games i was like because <laughs> yeah. if we get there i was i was like i have to i have to just I have to Yo. explain my explain my reasoning behind because I am in the very I am in the minority opinion of like just games like fighting games in general okay. especially like when it comes to Dragon Ball 2 and man. I need to like I need to rep my shit properly so people don't try to disrespect something they didn't even bother trying okay that's like yeah. you know when your mom serves you food and you look at it and you're like what's this I'm not eating in that shit tastes great and you don't even know because <laughs> you didn't try it and that shit tastes great <laughs> that's some frosted flake shit it's yeah the one thing I do want to say before we go into the uh, questions from the last episode, yeah. um, imagine, oh, if, no. imagine, <laughs> oh no, it's never good. <laughs> imagine if Our they had, run wild. imagine if they had a game where they had young Gigi on it, and he brought his characters and like his plot lines and all that shit. It'd be called Dragon Ball AF the game. Actually, nah, change that. It would call Dragon Ball GG. I was that's what I was gonna say. To be completely I was I was gonna drop that. That shit would be fire. I would oh my god. Just to play the scenarios he's It made would literally up. just be the double letter though. It'd be, it would be D B G G. Like literally. Just Yo, like that. Just like it. that. Do it. That shit would make money. <laughs> um Alright, but let me get to these freaking Yeah, go for it. Yeah, while I look. Um, I don't think there was too many this time around, mm. which, I mean, is just take it as you will. Uh, let's see here. So, yeah, last, well, yeah, last week was doing the freaking, the freaking whole review of the dream match, Super Saiyan 4 versus, uh, mm. Go, uh Super Saiyan Rose. That was so good. Okay. So... I thought there was something I saw that, hold on. Do you want it to shout out? Yeah, like, as I remember, I remember saying, like, <laughs> acknowledging someone's comment, and it was, like, a really good one. I said I was going to bring it up. Okay, so this person says, if you really think about it, they did leave open the door for Goku to inquire about God Key as far as the GT timeline goes. We all know King Kai, Elder Kai, and the Kibito Kai had to be watching and possibly shitting bricks off the screen. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's, that's facts, good, though, because yeah. they look at their little crystal ball like, yeah. They are watching. You remember old You remember old Kai was shitting bricks when he turned Super Saiyan 4? He's like, oh, yeah, that's a Super Saiyan 4. Yes. <laughs> yeah, man. That, yeah, that, that was cool. Shit yeah. like that is funny. Yeah, but I think, I, I think that is that's pretty much like the only thing that's worth bringing up because the rest of the comments that are on from last week were just like statements and not really like questions per se things that you want to hear um us talk about um but yeah i mean oh the same person said if you go back to super 17 there's a missed opportunity one half of 17 should have been a tuffle what do you think about that if they're both androids though like right and if 17, you know, like if there's two 17s and the original 17 was a human, then it's like, I see what he's saying. It's, it's he or she, you know, it's a missed opportunity. I understand that. But I feel like the whole idea of the person who created him was supposed to be, you know, like that was supposed to be the tuple or like, right. you know, like Dr. Mew. Yeah, Dr. Mew. Yeah. Dude, actually, you know, it's funny. I, uh, I, I, I've now been getting into the habit of putting on the dragon ball gt in the background just to have it on <laughs> just to have yeah. it on because i was uh i was working on some stuff um at my dad's house while i was last over there and i was just like yo let me pull let me pull, let me pull up funimation boom just they got all the episodes of gt in both languages so nice 
so yeah so you guys already saw and heard the uh the sponsor shout out of course funimation is still a proud sponsor of uji games so you can get yourself free 14 day trial using the link in the description below and on that note we're gonna be signing off right now make sure to like the video please like the video comment share subscribe all that fun stuff next week man the topics well, I, you know what next week will most likely be we like have to do the whole video on the next chapter Oh my god, the date. Yeah, it's on Oh Tuesday. my god, it's in five days. Yeah. Okay, so, so expect a, a expect full power a extra. Yeah. yeah, we're going to yeah. review that. Cause Separately. I, yeah, because that one will come out like during the time when the chapter comes out. Um, but yeah, um, as far as next week's episode, as far as the theme, probably talk mm. more about, like, I guess the experience with Kakra. Are you getting it? Yeah, I already pre-ordered. Oh it. yeah, okay. yeah. All right, so we're gonna Absolutely. talk about how we think about the Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, and then we'll we'll go from there. So make sure you're following. Like I said, like, share, subscribe, hit us up on Twitter, all that good stuff. The supporting links are gonna be in the description below. Make sure, especially, hit the like button. We want more people to be aware of the Full Power Podcast. We are Full Power, out of control. It's your boy Uch, my man Kai, and we'll see y'all next time. Perfect. <laughs> I gotta say something random every time, you know. That was bars. I'm doing that outro every single time now. This time I'm I'm not gonna leave you hanging on the intro. Oh like. my god. <laughs> Where's this shit? Lego my ego. <laughs> <laughs>